in Business Central, if we want to pay our suppliers or credit customers, we need to do a payment journal. There are a couple of different ways that we'll generally reach this. On our Business Manager screen, I can see here Payments, Create Vendor Payments, and that's going to show me all of our outstanding invoices that are available through the vendor ledger entries. Um, one thing that is good about this interface is that I can actually select multiple documents just by holding the control key and we can at any time uh, I've clicked on one sorry about that we can at any time go process and create payment and it's going to bring through each of these for payment with the relevant information on them so very functional raising a payment journal from the vendor ledger entries and you can do that if you don't have the function on your main screen you can just search vendor ledger uh, the ved vendor ledger entries just there there we go all right so let's now go and have a look at the traditional way which is payment journal there are multiple types of payment journals and the journal type determines the behavior of the journal so if I click on the dots here, you can see here that we've got some that support EFT, some will not. Some will have different balancing accounts. Some will behave in different formats accordingly. Okay, so it's important that you understand which journal you should be using for which purpose. To get started, we're actually going to go process and suggest vendor payments. Now, by default, this comes as show less. So you need to actually click the show more button. What we're going to do is we're going to say here, I'm looking to span 160,000. I'm allowing a payment date. Uh, so we're first payment. Find payment discounts, use uh, vendor priority. That's fine. Summarize per vendor. Uh, so that consolidates all of the lines per vendor. If I want to keep them separate, I keep it like this. And I might filter through to one. So I'm going to select first up consultants. Uh, we're going to use this as the balancing account, and I think we're good to go. We're just going to hit OK, and it's going to bring in all of these as lines. Now, you notice they're all the same vendor, okay? And so they all need to turn around, and if we scroll over here, you're going to see applies to document number. So that's already, already applied, which is super cool. The other thing that you can do is if we go back, and we're going to... Take this and clear the journal. I'm just going to delete everything. I'm now going to run the same process again, but the difference here is we're going to summarize per vendor. So let me just delete these. All right, let's now go process, suggest vendor payments. The same configuration is here from before, but the difference here is we're gonna say summarize per vendor. Let's hit okay. We now have one payment, first up consultants for $114,000, which is the amount outstanding on their account. So at the moment, if we were to look at that customers, that, that vendor's account, we would go vendors, And you can see here, first up consultants currently has an outstanding balance of 115,000. Okay, 114 of it is due. Okay, going back to our payment journal, we're ready to turn around and proceed on this. The payment method that we're using here is cash. Um, we would have selected the recipient's bank account Okay, and as we scroll over, uh, you've got, so uh, if you're doing EFTs or payments, you may require to actually lodge some of these details. So this at this stage is good to go, and I'm gonna go process, uh, apply entries, and just check that everything's applied here. So this payment, if it has a, a blank field in the applies to it, means that it's not gonna allocate this payment against all of these receipts. Being that that's okay, I'm just gonna hit cancel. And we're ready to post. So we go from post, 
post, post the journal lines, yes. Now that the journal is posted, we can now go to the vendor. We go vendors. We can see here now that currently the balance for first up is only the open balance that's not currently due and that payment has been made. Thank you.